all that about a promise? I heard something about that in the helmet, too. Who cares? They're clearly not so. Worldmind probably went all rogue AI and fried their brains. Let's just find Corral. I'm sure she'll know what's going on. Yeah, if you don't try and kill us like the last one. No way. Not Corral. Oh, Looks like a standoff. Clark. was a standoff. Not good. Clark, Nova killing Nova. Which side won? Wow. There's your answer. Oh, man. This is bad. I will not stand here and wait to die. None of us got a whole lot of... Oh! Thank <laughs> you. 
12 o'clock! Current time is irrelevant. Bear, kill, now! Ah, that is much more informative. Those who resist must be burned.
have lost an ally. Yeah, you might want to do those next time. Hey, son, Trouble is our middle name. Who said we were in trouble? When we're slicing scutch with a knife or a blade, when we're shooting fast and Groot's making shade, that's what I call trouble. Who's with me? Do his we are. Let's go! Make I shall on. enjoy this! I think our fine will be paid today. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket, the only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right. It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me. I am Groot. Come on. Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> All right. Listen to Flarka. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell. I prefer the rodent's plan. So tried. Find the invaders. None must escape. How did the all-knowing world mind not foresee this event? They're just a computer, not God. Rocket, come on. You come on. And we are. I'm on board. Let's find the Milano and... Intruders reported in the repair bay. And try not to die in the process. First sensible thing you said, all cycle. How long do I have to... <laughs>
enemies are relentless. Has ah, to be done. The purple glow does not make their skulls harder. Oh, Any ah. idea where we're going wrong here? Oh, don't you start. Ah. He came down an elevator. We're gonna need to go up one to get back to the hangar. I prefer our last encounter with Nova Borg. You mean the one where Quill tried to sleep with his ex? Let's keep our noses out of it. Hey, we can get through here. You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look, are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. Behold the magic flowing to the altar. There's no such thing as magic, right? Come on, let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine, no problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack jobs. Good of you to join us. What's the harm in checking? What's the harm? Oh, let's just pay our fine. Let's just look around. So, you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's got to get us out of here. Burn the faithless Mark and Scott. Can nothing go easy? <laughs> Another Fever Trooper now runs cold. Hey, Drax, you need some work for the rest of us. Magic! 
I wasn't second guessing, I'm just... Sure. These doors have been barricaded. It means someone at least tried to resist. Bad lot of good it did them. We don't know that. There could still be others on the station. Or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope. Are we in the same elevator? Uh, is that? Let's just pretend we didn't see that. So, let's flark and go already. Flark was that docking number. R73-4PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. <laughs> no, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. 4PL. Done. All right. Phase clear. Extending catwalks. And... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up. But you're gonna have to release those clamps manually. All right, release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. None can escape her light. Let us deal with these rebels. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off you. One down. Took down one of the Nova 
Hardcore nut jobs! Way to knock some sense into them! There's another one! All right, I'm hooked into the Milano system. Where's my tunes? I got your Scotty Terror music. We've got more! We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because <sighs> that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. 
Our comms are flarked. The trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. It's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. That's done. Thank Flark. Get out of my room, Quill. What are you doing here? Leave! Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Leave us alone, Quill. Assassin, you believe the events unfolding aboard the Rock qualify as a mutiny, correct? Looked pretty obvious to me. Even if the officers who rebelled were under the influence of a mysterious force. It doesn't really change that they rejected Nova Corps orders and started killing their shipmates. I find it repulsive. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Nova Corps has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Nova Corps if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Nova Corps officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Can't believe Quill's such a bootlicker. What's with his obsession with bending over for Nova Corps? I am Groot. Respect them? Please. All the blue flak nards know how to do is arrest people trying to make a living and slap them with scut bugging fines. I am Groot. Nope, it's that simple, and Quill still wants to pay up. After all we've done for him. The Nova Tracker on Peter's chair is looking good. The countdown is making me anxious. Three cycles is not a sufficient amount of time. Really hope we can have the thing removed on nowhere, or we'll need a new ship. I suggest getting one that smells more pleasant. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. Uh, 
of nowhere. A last space port on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Nova Corps all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Are Rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. How do we keep ending up here for work? I need some downtime. What is it you are so eager to do? Drink. What about Rocky and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? Yes, if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. Keep an eye on your things. These poops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There were people who claimed to be able to see the future, sure. The soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. Nexus, what are you? Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? There's a rock star? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh, you fool. No, he's lying! 
I mean, oh. Where the good heart is rooted, the broken branches fall in men. Less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green meanie. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Ready to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be super fun the bow, win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain. Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheat, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low-stakes game, just to prove that I'm on the up and up. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Save it for a sucker on his honeymoon. Sucker? Honey? Why I oughta suck you in the kisser, Captain! Scram! Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, 
How did you know my name? Girl, I end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Cosmo, you in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Peter Quill. I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Who's there? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flark and Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I give myself a heart attack. We got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Mm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive. Damn. 
<laughs> uh, uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, uh, triple! Uh, oh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, Rose. Get crushed, Harry. <laughs> Guys, this is a big misunderstanding. Get over here so we can play the pound. Gonna snap him in two. Anybody think to bring refreshments? Uh, Lady H told us how much you found. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invinced. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. 
Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Oh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king of an entire world called Spartax, far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're gonna be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave, but you're gonna have to be smart too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. No! No! 
little buddy. What are you doing there? You scuts got luck. Yeah. We almost murder out. The word is murdered. That's what he said. Sheesh, no use being pediatric. <sighs> oh, crap. Would kill a lot of you. But not you, Mr. Big Word. Nope. Lady H won't kill you alive. Not too alive. Well, then you have failed your mission. Miserably. Be at will. These lackluster bounty hunters claim Lady Hellbender hired them to kill us. Hey, we ain't no slouches. We're part of the league now. You said yourself she'd hunt us to the end of the universe. I had hoped she'd send a monster. Not these two. We would have murderized you. But don't worry. There's more coming. Uh, did you hear that, Peter Quill? A silver lining. Yeah, that's great, Drax. Won't be long in these clabber traps. Not us. Hey, mm -mm. this is a big mistake. I'm Thanks innocent. For breaking us out. Soon. Cosmo, are you Real out there? Soon. Cosmo! We did kill. Be silent. Hello? Cosmo? I really need to use the bathroom. Nice that you finally showed up. Would have been even nicer if you didn't abandon me in the first place. I never left. One minute, we're having a great time, and the next... Wait a second, did you use me as bait? Huh. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Ow! A little butter just scratched me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one, too. Shut up and get in there. Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. Yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? <sighs> you know what? You're a real piece of... <laughs> What do you think I was gonna say? Rocky, dude, woof. We should have left you in when we left the chance. <laughs> what? Where we are? You don't, woof, woof, woof. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times. I'm not a roughing animal. What were you talking about? You rough. <laughs> <laughs> This. Where are we? You ought to have been still on Nolan. <laughs> Osmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about... <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuits Pewter. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction so pesky raccoon and sentient tree friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Tracker on ship. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no Guardian of Galaxy, we're on Nova Rock. Yeah, we went to find Centurion Corral and pay our fine. Why? Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmos sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending the same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> right away, sir. Pretty 
Trinity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Zone. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop! <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. His shuttle exploded on the Hallows Hope. Grand Unifier Raker, leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bells for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with gold skin God. Let us investigate the Hallows Hope for you. Huh? What? You said none of your teams return, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed, and we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quinn. And not fun kind with ball. Ball. <laughs> What guardian of galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, dog breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days, before Kivan could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned, mostly. Entirely restored. This is the place you broke into. Broke implies it took effort. Wait, this is the Continuum Cortex? Is the best way to reach Nova Ship before moves again. We found Corel. Where is she? Nova Ship currently in the leader system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia. Cosmo not surprised. Pesky Raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcast same signal as Novorog. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars, and bedding parlors, and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo paid to agree with Assassin. You were having a great time when... Stop. Now. Contraxia also has one good museum. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy. But scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... Ah, dead Titan King no longer concerned for cause. I am surprised the rodent was able to bypass your security systems. Pesky raccoons are known for entering yards uninvited. Oh, is the puppy mad that I outsmarted him? Cosmo's ancestor is Wolf. Even you, like Piotr Quill, fear Wolf. So, what is this? Like another elevator? Oh, no. They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Oh, what magnificent witchcraft is this? I know. It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. 
can communicate with Cosmo and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Those won't do the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. This is... Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. I am broke. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities, even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but that I do. The view was incredible. What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide, I will find you. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know that sound. I am proud. Definitely an alternate reality. Hey, help! It's Spider-Man! Wait, is that Earth? Come on, you're deep for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. Next stop, Hallis Hope. Probably. Hold on, Groot. Here we go. <gasps> Clark and Hallis! Okay, here we go! Whoa, this cannot be Clark. the correct. You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo-gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many flocking questions and get us down from here. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Both are undeniable clues. I'm not seeing anything useful. Somebody tell him I ain't gonna do all his work for him. Use your visor, Peter! 